Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with the 21st layout using the April Hit Kit. This one took me 52 minutes to complete. Now this is going to be the last traditional scrapbook layout that I make with this kit. The next one which will be up tomorrow is a Project Life. And uh, so 22 layouts done with this kit. I am down to scraps. <laughs> So basically, because I didn't have that much pattern paper, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do quite a bit to the background because otherwise, I think I had one piece of pattern paper that I could use. Actually, it was two three by fours that I kind of stuck together. A couple of Project Life cards that I end up using. I decide to use some of the Project Life cards on my layouts at the very end because when I looked there wasn't enough to make two pages and um, but there was more too much for one page so I decided to use a few project life cards on the scrapbook layouts and it was good because I was basically out of pattern papers and then I had that strip of um, it when I started off it was like three by four and I had stuck all the little pieces of the little strip that's at the top of the six by six pattern paper and it just holds your paper in there and it kind of has that awkward little circle in the middle because that's where they hang the six by six pattern paper well I had done you know a couple of um, strips using those and I had used quite a bit of it on the two layouts ago and there was a little strip left so I'm going to use it on this layout Whew, that was long just to say that <laughs> and then I I had a piece of cardstock left so I'm going to use that I put some white gesso because this time I wanted to create it's not that the blue was too you know powerful in the colors or anything like that but because I wasn't going to have a lot of pattern papers I wanted to create some um, interest to the background so first of all I added some white gesso dried it up with my heat tool and then I um, now am putting some gel medium some heavy gel medium and that's just clear it looks kind of white right now but when it dries it dries sort of clearish and be but because of the white gesso in the back it does have some hues of white and I'm just using a stencil that came in last month's kit and it's a dilution template and it is called bubbles and it's five by eight I used it quite a bit last month and still love using it it just you know creates nice a nice size of circles and now I'm using my um, stamp cleaner tool or spray <laughs> I put it on the template and then it really clears up, cleans it off really quickly. It doesn't leave any sticky re residue or anything like that. And now I think the paste is still, or the gel is still a little wet. So I'm going to turn off the recording and then I forgot to turn it back on. So I just showed you what I did because I thought, I thought for sure the recording was on. Um, I added some of those to distress paint and it was in the crass, crassed, cracked pistachio and have evergreen bow and I just added to some packaging I added some water and then just kind of added you know all over the layout and now I'm adding some distress stains and everything's on a power bar so whenever I use my heat gun sometimes it makes it go kind of blows the fuse so then I have to turn everything on and it kind of messes with my lighting for a while so that's why my lighting kind of goes off and on I'm just using um, a roll of paper towel and just kind of rolling it over the whole layout just to kind of absorb the moisture a little bit just because it was driving me nuts because it was taking so long I had I uh, printed two small pictures with my Canon selfie. I kind of printed it together, then I kind of cut it apart, and then I decided to mount it together. So um, I mounted it on some 
two three by four cards and you can see here I'm kind of gluing them or washi taping them together and then it's going to make a perfect mat for my pictures and then I took my I think it was the evergreen bow paint and I just kind of went around the whole layout and added some color to the outside and that's what I do when I don't feel like or I don't have any pattern papers to mat the outside and at this point this is my last layout that I am doing with this kit so I am very limited on the number of pattern papers that I have I have none full sheet no full sheets and just a few scraps and these pictures here were taken last weekend at the zoo or a couple weekends ago I guess and um, it's a picture of my middle daughter and my son on the slide and then of my middle daughter and my my grandson going down the slide his aunt and um, this was it's inside the zoo they have this little cute little play park they have one that's you know for the bigger kids and it was kind of funny because it said uh, I can't remember I think one was two to four and then the other one was four to 12 or 13 and my son is 15 and he was like oh that slide is so cool but I'm too young and I'm like go like you know just go just don't bully little kids you know like just go wait your turn and come down once you know I don't think the park place police is going to come and put us in jail here you know yes you're 15 and you're like six feet but you still love stuff like that so they went down the slide with Mason quite a few times because Mason thought that was so cool that his aunt and his his uncle you know would go down the slide with him and the um title for this is and it's something that Mason said all day while we were at the zoo come on guys let's go and we thought that was so cute the kid is two and uh, so anyway we thought that was super cute and um, so that's what the title is going to be and I'm just going to talk about you know how we stopped there and and I'm actually going to do a page of Josh down going down that slide so I'm not going to talk about that part on this layout but um, I'm going to talk about how he would kept saying come on guys let's go and he was just tickled pink that you know they were doing stuff like that with him now I'm taking my distress stain I'm going around everything I went around the journaling card the pattern paper that mounted the photos the strip and then the two three by four project life cards and I know this is all I have for you know pattern papers so I'm going to start gluing everything down <laughs> and I want to apologize for sounding like a frog I mean my voice is just awful and I'm trying to do a bunch of voiceovers because this week I decided that I was going to upload a video a day but I go back to work on Friday so I guess you know um, but then I, that means that I have to do the voiceover for the video a day plus I have to do the voiceovers for um, when I go back to work because there's no way I can do those and have them you know upload it while I'm at work so I usually get all those done up and onto YouTube and then I just have to hit release you know every day and um, but where I decide to upload six videos this week because I start on Sunday and then I have to do the two for while I'm at work so that's eight videos I have to to um, voice over thankfully the layouts are done so I just have to you know do the voiceovers so that's good and uh, but anyway, and because of my job, because we do a lot of talking, <clears throat> um, they, we went to a conference one, once and they said that our type of job is one of the hardest on the voice because, I mean, we are on the phone all the time or on the radio and it's very hard on your vocal cords and that we could, ex <sighs> the voiceover stopped. <laughs> so I have to do this all over again. It was all done. But anyway, that we could just expect to kind of, um, d expect damage to our vocal cords you know worst 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 case scenario we could lose our voice if if we abuse it too much but so what do I do I do something on my days off that I have to talk a lot and sometimes I can 
you know, when I'm talking, I can feel my voice going and it gets all groggy or froggy. <laughs> and then I have to stop and have some drink of water and cough it out. And then I uh, can keep talking. But most of the time uh, when I'm off, it's used a lot of times it's during the week. So I rest my voice then. But anyway, so just back to the layout. Um, I'm going to glue down those thickers and I absolutely love those thickers. They're white with silver. And if you know, I'm not a fan of gold, but I love silver. My jewelry is all in silver and my Pandora, I made sure everything was silver. And then I got in a few videos, you're going to see, I got another bracelet and I put it on the same arm as my Pandora and it's from South Hill and it's got some silver in it and oh my gosh I love it and it matches my phone case oh, look. Uh, my iMovie right now I just want to pitch it out the door <laughs> it keeps cutting and if you do YouTube videos you know that that can be such a pain I don't know why it does that but anyway um I'm gonna add some stickers and then I added um the tiny stickers from Ellie Studio. I spelled out lucky and then I used my um, Maggie Holmes chipboard stickers with the number seven and so lucky seven. It's just because I am so lucky to have my kids. They're just you know awesome and Mason is such a ham. <laughs> he just cracks me up and uh, now I'm taking out some sequins that I want to use on this layout. I'm going to put them down on my sticky dot and I love that stuff. It adds um, little dots on the back of whatever you put down on that sheet and then it makes it really easy to glue it down to your layout. And now I just took my spray stain in the evergreen bow, primed it and then smashed it down on the layout and it does this awesome little spray of um, color. And if you missed the first time, no worries, slime it down again and it works perfectly. You can't even tell that you messed it up. And um, where I've done this voiceover at least six times, I don't know what I've already said. So I'm sorry if I repeat it. And um, so I'm going to glue down those sequins and that's going to finish off this layout. So that's, you know, one more and then this kit is done and then I'll be starting to share layouts from the make it and here are some close-ups of all the embellishment clusters and this layout was one of my favorites of all 22 that I did and again on my Facebook group it was to do something out of nothing that was a challenge for June and here I had almost nothing left and it ends up being my one of my favorite layouts because of all the texture that I got with um, the mixed media that I use. So if you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and thanks for watching. Bye.